What's up YouTube, Quality for Man 221 here and welcome to another Company of Heroes 2 online replay. Um, my last video got quite a, a decent amount of views on it, so <laughs> I'm up here for more. I got a ton of, of videos coming up on this game. I got a ton of replays. They're all, they're all pretty exciting, I think. This is one of my better games I played. We're playing with uh, Juicebox here. He's also in the uh, Amp clan, which is the American, British, and French Marines. It's kind of like my clan for fans and uh, other people. Let's go to me. And let's turn off the fog of... Whoop! I need my taskbar. Hold on. Sorry. Yep. Company of Heroes noob right here. <laughs> Not really. Okay. It's for the Soviet Union. I've had a lot of... Um, he says, I'm a big fan of the Soviet Union. In the earlier parts of the beta in April, I was a huge German fan. But I've become a big fan of the Soviet Union, mainly because I've got a strategy I've kind of developed, which you're going to see here in a couple seconds, which you're going to see here pretty soon. But um, with the Russians, I generally start off with a two's um, conscript um, start off point. You don't need to build a building. Some of the newer Russian players will immediately build a special rifle command or support um, company. But I like to build about two conscripts, which I'm about to do right now. And with the uh, conscripts, I usually like to go for the points. Now, this is my first time on this map, believe it or not. But the north is really important on this map because there's two victory points, one here and here. So if you can control the north and this fuel here, you'll be pretty much set. These guys are going right for the center, which is the munitions. You think this would be a victory point spot, but it's not. Anyway, so you can do come here as one as you can actually jump over the wall. So now we're in heavy cover, and they're going to try to get to heavy cover. But it's directional, so they have to get on this side of the truck. Be protected. We have a Pioneer um, start. They're double teaming me in the center here. But, you know, it's the north that matters. So they're starting to lose victory points already because we got most of them. And I'm going to move over here. So my basic strategy is to get the conscripts. I got about two out. I'm going to get these guys back pretty soon. The Germans actually did get in the house, but they took a ton of fire. So I'm just focusing on the guys in the house right now. Looks like they're point blank shooting at each other with the MP40s versus the. Uh, is there an STV40? It looks. Oh, that's a Mosin again, actually. Yeah, I don't think we have the cinematic mode yet on this. Pretty, pretty sweet. So I brought some conscripts in because the north is falling to me. So I brought some conscripts in. I just want to hold this center, get some more munitions for me because in the early, it's kind of hard because you have to balance out. Do you want your Molotovs? Do you want the anti tank grenades? And got an MG42. It's only natural that players of, of um, around our, our levels are going to be using MG42s from the start. They are very effective, and the Russians don't get them to start off with, so it's a good thing. I got these guys back here, and I'm going to build myself a support weapon company. Anyway, I'm putting even more conscripts up in the north. I'm going to capture this, I think. Now, one thing about Company Heroes 2 against Company Heroes 1 is that you have points like this that just are a standard territory. You can choose to build munitions or fuel on it. Also, it's good to hold the fuel. That's, that's free um, stuff there. Now, since there was a beta update a little while ago in which it changed a lot of different uh, fuel counts, so now the Russians, my favorite uh, Russian vehicle, the Su-85, now it went from 90 fuel to 115. That's a big difference. That's 25 more fuel. As you can see, he's kind of running away from me, which is a little annoying here. That's what the uh, true sight looks like. But he doesn't realize that I have two conscripts. Also, you can see these guys are struggling a little bit in the heavy snow here. That's what that mouse cursor is with the exclamation mark. So my men are going to move slower. And with the double Russians, <laughs> this is going to slowly get away. And then they get back to the road. They're faster. But I think one of my... Uh, I think by now I had unlocked it is I have one of these uh, perks I'd call it that um, I think it's called a bulletin or something but it allows me to get 5% more with my conscript um, damage we got some more grenadiers coming so it seems like they're mostly focusing on the center and the south pretty much me and Juicebox or I have kind of like a strategy here where he's going to handle the south and I'm going to go for the, the north there as you can see, I'm building that support thing, and I am going to get a machine gun. I'm actually saving up manpower right now. I have about four out, so 
Not the usual two, but I'm feeling pressure to hold the north and retake the center, so I need a little bit more conscripts. Plus, I haven't seen a lot of MGs. So it's a car versus a Mosin Nagant. <laughs> Look at that. Hoorah. Oh gosh, this game is really fun. So I'm holding the north. I'm starting to take the center back. Now, what usually a German player would do on this map was they'd put a machine gun here and then really cover this. So we got a machine gun set up again. And I'm going to have to withdraw because we, uh, we're suppressed. We're in negative cover and we got grenadiers there in heavy cover. But the north has fallen. One thing I love about the conscripts, I even look when I was playing as the Germans yesterday, I looked for the uh, the build uh, sandbags. So these guys are going to put sandbags up and use them as covering. I'm making positions here at strategic uh, areas like the road. And I'm I'm pretty much making these to uh, get my machine gun, which as you can see is producing up there. It's producing right now, and I'm going to put that to cover this victory point. So I'm aggressively taking a stand and going to try to cut off this area. If I, if I sit back here a little bit more, you know, they have more areas to come from. I am in danger of getting outflanked here, though. Know. But I have these guys here. So they do have a mortar. Now, Snipe has lost the south completely again, but he's sending in a... His name is Juicebox, but he used to be the Sniper Eyes. That's what I'm calling him at. Um, so he's going to take their points back. By having their points being um, constantly harassed, they they haven't built any uh, fuel you can see yet on the flags. Now we haven't any, we haven't built any yet, but I'm gonna build some. I'm gonna build one here, one here, and one here, and that'll give me a ton of fuel to get my SUs. Now my strategy involves with I, I'm gonna skip the special rifle command, which doesn't allow me to get penal troops, scout cars, or snipers, and I'm gonna skip the. Uh, pretty much the T-76 command, battalion command. And that will not let me get a T-76, it will not let me get a half-track, and not let me get a T-17, I believe is the name of the small Russian tank. But it does allow me to get an SU-76. These guys, right in the middle of anywhere. So it will let me get a, a T-70, I'm sorry, let me get an SU-76, which is um, anti infantry with light artillery barrage for free. And I just lost my conscript squad, so they just got wiped out. That was a, an error by me. And it'll also let me get a SU-85, which is anti-tank. So if you get a couple SU-85s and you get some SU-76s, you'll be fine. I don't know why these guys came out of cover. And I was going to shoot a rifle grenade. And that just blew that guy to pieces. So I pretty much just lost the north. And my MGs haven't even come in time. I got this MG to cover it as I'm trying to get back munitions. But the center is really a sideshow to me. But I'm hurting right now, so I'm getting another uh, machine gun up here. But I gotta retake it because I pretty much lost everything. Except we are in the building here and we are taking some shots at these grenadiers. But he's gonna retake the victory points right now. We are having a blizzard, so you'll start to see the uh, the line of sight just be absolutely horrible. Like we can't really see anything in the blizzard. It also gets rid of anti-tank support. Now, one of my favorite um, commanders right now. It's the guard motor coordination tactics. I love the T-3485, so who needs a 76 when you got an 85? I love the ability to get the repair training. Mark vehicles, excellent. I mean, if you have a Panther and you mark that and you have some SU-85s, you're set. You got guard riflemen, you got the, the very much hated 120mm mortar by the Germans. But I'm not going to go with that in this battle. I'm actually going to go with, I believe it's, yeah, guard... Rifle combined arm tactics. I want to build a howitzer, which I will never do, unfortunately, in this battle. Shock mortar is kind of interesting, but I don't know. I'm more of a fan of the uh, the guard rifles over the shock troops right now. So we're capturing the field back, and I don't want my machine gun to get too close. But these guys are going in and out of the line of sight, and he just retreats them. So I can take back the victory point and pretty much put it to zero. I've also got some more conscripts coming out. I've been reinforcing, and I do have some MGs now. Now you can see this little blue thermometer, and if it's too gets too cold for them, they will die. But I'm going to get them to a fire so they'll, they'll warm up. We do have the heavy snow though, which will slow their progress. You can see them dragging the maximum down. So going next to the fire will heat them up again. And I think right now, ah uh, yes, okay. Like I said, I do have my tank area out and because I haven't seen any armor or I'm not really thinking there's going to be a stug here because they, they don't even, like, they're doing a heavy tier 1 start with machine guns, mortars and everything so they don't even have a uh, can't even get a stug yet got their infantry companies 
and they have their like to mechanese companies so I see you know what hey I haven't seen any tanks I don't think they're gonna need any tanks might as well get an SU-76 tell me with the infantry up north that are that are bound to rush so that's the plan we're gonna get the 76 which is anti-infantry it's um lightly armored though so <laughs> it's pretty vulnerable if you run into a bunch of grenadiers it will get blown up also saving my munitions maybe for some mines or a flamethrower actually because I chose this one I can get some um, strafing runs so I'm now securing this victory point I'm moving these guys up into cover when they're in cover they don't get um, suffer from cold I'm trying to position this so I can cover this area but cover just like the very end of my uh, my triangle here you can see the lines for my MG this is like how far it can go what the maximum range is as the way they're facing you can see there's a line right here I want that um, left line there to pretty much be along this tree line so I can cover as much of this area as possible with that machine machine gun there meanwhile you can see during the uh, during the winter I'm started building the fuel cache which helped me with my fuel because I need to get an SU-85 out I am vulnerable if the Germans do have um, fuel but as you can see they are uh, starting to put some of their own points on in fact they have more points on fuel right now let's go to one of the guys here let's go to Chico they have a ton of fuel and they have not chosen a commander yet ah you can see this is their first um, I'm trying to build I'm in the middle of building this second sandbag which I just get finished in time these guys are going to get suppressed as you can see the free light infantry barrage which I'm going to do right now unfortunately this house got in the way so I'm hitting the house otherwise it would have been devastating but these guys are pretty much overwhelmed since I can't make any more uh, SU tanks right now I'm saving for the 85 which is 115 fuel I got enough that I'm going to make a anti-tank this is the one thing I love about the support you can get machine guns mortars and tank um, anti-tank stuff so they did rush an infantry half track in with flamethrowers like this I'd be able to stop myself the south is much more fluid the north I'm kinda of building up my strength but they're finally getting smart and they're putting a sniper in the house I would have personally put him in the cover anyway another uh, attack these guys are just in the middle of the open kinda of being stupid I got the SCR repositioned it so I'm kinda of searching stuff I do have another an anti-tank out here just in case a stug does come up which isn't a assault gun obviously so we'll be able to defend from that because this little light tank is not going to be good at all for uh, fighting these tanks. Anyway, my machine gun team is starting to get sniped, so I'm just going to do a light barrage on this as soon as I can in about 12 seconds to destroy this church. I don't want to be used by any machine guns or snipers. They're bringing up a mortar here. The center really is important, and they really need to start focusing on the north. As you can see, they brought out my favorite thing for the Germans. Not really, I hate this thing. <laughs> These mortar half tracks. That's actually a very good move of them because my guys are just in cover. And the mortar half track is vulnerable. And we're burning ourselves to death because it has um, flame mortar, which costs munitions. So I think that's a little unfair. I think you should be a veteran before you can give the, uh, the flame there. So I'm just going to reposition my MG because I know what's coming. But I got enough guys left that I'll be able to pretty much stop this assault. Then I'm bringing my SU in. And I'm kind of just running it in here. It's not a good idea because they do have Panzer Shreks. So I'm going to get hit <laughs> by one Panzer Shrek. They're getting suppressed though, but I got to pull back. I'm very worried that a, uh, a Stug or something is going to appear here. Got hit by another and another um, Panzer Faust here, so I got to pull back. I'm limping back. I'm praying that another Grenadier squad just doesn't come out here and destroy me. But I've got my uh, my riflemen running up. I'm sorry, my my engineer squad running up. And I've got these guys here. I'm starting to upgrade them with the PPSH just because I got extra munitions and it does increase their attack. So this thing is so slow and it is heavy engine damage, not just engine damage. So I've just got to stop it and hope I can repair this and get this out of here quick enough. So we don't even have anything hole in the middle except I got an MG. So if they really push, they could could easily take it. Since they have more fuel than we do, they're getting plus 25 a turn. What am I getting? 
I'm getting plus 42. Ah, yes, that's because we're holding, we're holding both fuel points right now. This damn thing is up here again. So I'm just gonna pull back. I've lost my MG, and I know they're gonna do another flame barrage because they already did it on me. So I'm desperately trying to get this thing fixed before it gets destroyed again. It's gonna destroy. I don't have anti-tank grenades yet because I've been saving my fuel, and I don't have Molotovs. So this thing might go down, to be honest. All my engineers just got destroyed. So I just lost my engineers, and this thing is in deep trouble. My barrage or whatever is hitting around this area and not... They just got... They closed the distance, pretty much. We have a lot of veteran troops, and I lost another squad. I'm having very poor unit preservation, and I know it right now, but they're going for the victory point. I think they gave up on this. I don't know why they gave up on it. Let's go to him really quickly. See if these guys have used their Panzer Shreks already. Oh, they're out of munitions for that, so that was lucky it saved me. But there comes a Panzer IV. And just in time, I got my SU. So I have an SU and an anti-tank gun right now. It's not looking good for that Panzer IV. I got a tank destroyer, as you saw. And I'm about to lose the energy section, but I managed to get him out there. These guys, I'm like rapidly trying to run them away. So I've got two one-level conscripts out of here. I'm very lucky they don't have munitions to actually destroy my guys, but I am going to lose my anti-tank gun. I do have some guard troops coming up, and I'm going to try to get them with the DP-40, which is a light machine gun that the Soviets use. I'm desperately trying to pull my guy back, but the pathfinding is a little uh, weird on the SUs. But luckily for me, he does not have any munitions. He's got 15. Anyway, he's taken back the victory points, and I've been completely pushed off. Now, you don't see any text chat between me and Snipe, because I don't think uh, the replays show that. I'm also taking off the uh, focus sight, which will let us get a... Uh, see how it's more of a um, all-around sight versus just a narrow but fur further sight there? Anyway, I'm not going to let them take this fuel. The fuel is so important to me, and they just lost a Panzer, which is 115 field. I'm going to retake it back with my guys who are getting the DPs now. Do, they do have uh, PTRSs, which are those um, anti-tank sniper rifles. So I'm going to move up, and I'm desperately going to try to go after... I believe it's either that point. Oh, we are freezing, so... i got to pull them back to a house or something. But I've set up my machine gun, which isn't in the cover, surprising. Oh, it is in cover, okay. It is a poorly positioned machine gun, but it'll hopefully uh, keep our flank there. I'm running engineers in a blizzard to try to repair this SU. If I lose it, I'm in deep trouble. And just like that, we're getting rushed by these engineers. Now, I'm thinking, okay, my guys are freezing. Gotta pull back. These guys are freezing also. I forgot about them, to be honest. I'm not sure if they die or not. They might die. So I'm too focused on this. Do you think having a flamethrower shot at you would warm me up a little bit? But I'm focusing all my fire right now on that, uh, that pioneer. <laughs> the Soviet broadcaster there. Now as you can see, the fires are only a certain radius, so I need to move my engineers on the other side before they start freezing, which is what I did right there. So the north has fallen once again to the, these guys, and they have a panther right now. How the heck am I going to deal with a panther without my marked target and a badly damaged SU-85? I'll tell you how I'll deal with it. i got to man that anti-tank gun again. His men aren't in tip-top shape either. They're pretty, uh... Beat up anyway. The south is having, um... He's just harassing them. As long as he's holding that field point to keep the field out of them, that's good. He also rammed. He's doing a lot of ramming actions on the Panzer IV. That can bite you and the... You can get immobilized easily, or, um... Yeah, get immobilized, and they can keep moving, but... Important thing, it slowed that. I think is uh... Oh, it's just a half-track that's coming in, but the half-track has guard infantry in them. That's a nice usage of that. The half-track quickly transports some troops. You can fit two units in there. Just like the Germans. You know, the anti-tank grenades. Also, this um, panther came down to me. So he, he told me at this point, because I couldn't see the fog where there's a panther there. I think he's gonna... Do we have anti... He told me earlier that it's gone to anti-infantry grenades now. Yeah, so this used to be an anti-tank grenade. Now it's an anti-infantry grenade to give them some more infantry fighting power. So the guard infantry aren't just anti-tank. They're now um, anti-infantry grenades. And they also, also have the DPs. Let's look up north here. We do have the um, 
He's just letting his guys die. And I'm really hoping I can get this guy. I think he's leaving him here to be bait so his mortar can finish off my crew here. But as you can see, the north is definitely not an easy victory. I'm just going to pull back. I don't want to lose my, uh, my crew. I've got the conscripts coming in. PPSHs. They're ready to do some damage. I don't have the anti-tank grenades, which would be great. Anyway, this thing is finally fixed. And I have just enough to get another one. Which actually just came out right now. And I think I might be getting a third one. Or I might be getting a... SU-76. SU but this mortar half track's really pissing me off. I like I hate these mortar half tracks so much. It's already killed 14 of my men. Who wouldn't hate it? Well, I guess it's killed 11 of my men. But I just need to destroy this thing. But you know, SU's not maneuverable. So I'm gonna try to pull these guys out before they get heavily damaged. But as you can see, I'm like trying to pull them back, and they're just having a horrible time maneuvering. At least I've got some conscripts here to support them. But if that can get in there, we're in trouble. Also, it's heavily snowed. There's a lot of snow on the field here. This unit will get away. I'm not so sure about this guy right now. He's got a uh, Panzerfaust in him. There's a Panther that pulls up for it. He told me the Panther left the south. And I'm probably going to lose this infantry squad. You know, I'm just not good unit preservation with my conscripts. And this guy's trying to limp away. But its engine's completely um, heavy damage right now, and it's not going anywhere. So I just lost an SU. Luckily, I was able to get this one back. And I'm manning this anti-tank gun because I see a panther that, that's going to come. And I got another SU. Another one's training. So I'm hoping he doesn't attack just yet with his panther. He has the momentum right now. He should, but he should really get that repaired. The damage engine there. I'm pulling back my anti-tank gun. I want to put it in my SU. Um, I've also done a strafing on here. I'm going to try to kill some of these units here, which I was successful in. Maybe I should have put it at the Panther, but I couldn't see because of the fog of war. But it's good as hell to stop those guys from capturing the victory point. With how much that cost me being 240, I really should have not just used it on a half depleted unit. These guys are heavily wounded. They need some sort of medical bunker there. Anyway, Juice Box is advancing with MGs and what was that? Facing MGs with Hoorah. You gotta outflank these MGs. Maybe some Molotov cocktails, which he's doing right now to burn the MG crew out. But he's just, he's gotten mostly infantry, to be honest. And he's got his, uh, he's the lighter, like, we're kind of, I'm more of the heavy tank destroyer MG, while he's more of the heavy conscripts um, with the PPSHs and the T-34s and half tracks. So we're kind of complementing each other that way. Different strategies here. Anyway, he's used the veterancy, which is a new thing the Germans got. It's one of the latest patches here. Now let's go to him really quickly. He's got this veterancy thing where they can heal each other, which is great. But just in time, I'm going to get my machine gun ready. And they're just going to be run for a machine gun. He's just going to withdraw. So I'm maneuvering my SU, and it, like, turns its back to the enemy. But he's not going to like that. I'm really now wishing I had the marked target. But we're hitting this um, panther there, and it's just going to pull back the panther. It's nothing they can really do. And my guys are just charging forward. Like, I'm like, pull back. <laughs> So once again, I love the strategy of skipping the uh, the guard rifle command and also skipping the T-76s because if you get that SU-76, that's anti-imagery, which is what the T-34 is pretty much, and you could take on the heavier German Panthers with this. He just can't be using these like Panzer IV, so you know I got to keep him back. This guy is looking with the um, the focus fire that gives you a lot of. It gives you a narrow perception of the fog of war. Like it gives you a narrow view, but it gives you a lot further view. So you can actually hit Panthers before they can touch you. But you can't be using these. Like you saw me with that kind of bold rush. That was a T-34 rush here. That wasn't so much of a, let's use an SU that's not very maneuverable. And you saw how I paid and I lost one of my SUs that way. You can see they're maneuvering this. Uh, this Panther's a beast. It's going up and down, destroying vehicles left and right. And guess what? A T-34 against the Panther? Uh, the Panther's gonna win that every time. Also, he's got Panther Shreks. So, got another um, wave here. It looks like the guy I was... Well, actually, this is the guy who was in the south primarily. Maybe they've switched. I don't know, but it looks like the primary... They're gonna start using um, veteran infantry, which are these Panzer Grenadiers. They're armed with the MP-44. And they are so deadly against infantry. If you can get some of these guys vetted up, 
Ooh, they're so deadly. They also have bundle grenades, which is great to destroy Soviet, uh, Soviet big numbers. Anyway, I'm not sure I want to man this, this area just yet. But I am kind of nervous, because one of those guys could easily take on one of my conscript squads, but two. Also, I didn't use, uh, hit the dirt, which would, um, help protect us, but they won't move. I didn't use that, which is a bad thing. We do have the fuel, and we start, are starting to get an, a good supply of fuel. We have 29 plus. And the enemy has 22. It's even a little bit more than they do, but we're... I'm preserving my vehicles, mostly, except for that one SU, but my inventory is not so well preserved. Now, during a blizzard, obviously your fog of war becomes... Um, if there's more fog of war because there's less visibility. So he's still harassing their fuel down here. And look at his conscripts. 20 kills. Panzer Faust. I mean, Panzer Shrek, I'm sorry. Oh, Veteran C3. He just has so much energy that he can just keep harassing these points. We have a heavy assault of two Panthers here. Guess what? They brought another mortar half track to attack me because they know I love it so much. And they're attacking my conscripts right now. I don't think it actually has that much range. But I'm telling you, once these, um... I wonder how much range this has. But once those guys do start firing, they can do that in the barrage like I talked about before. I also have counter barrage. These things are actually pretty useful. You know, my guys are just running into these guys, and they just got absolutely obliterated. Destroyed completely. Also, these guys have bun vehicle, which are pretty nice. The guard infantry, but these MP44s murdering my vehicles. I'm trying to do this uh, assault here and try to take out that, but they do have a sniper here and I've got one guy left so I need to try to withdraw him. I'm throwing it. I thought that was an anti-tank or anything because I didn't read very closely, but he got sniped and he's dead. So during a blizzard, I'm now watching this point because I'm sure he's going to charge it. They do have a sniper though. Being the munitions, that'd be smart. I'm really wishing I, I could use this right now. But with a blizzard, you can't. Now yeah, they're getting kind of smart. They're trying to attack his base. They've completely overwhelmed Juice Box in the south. So you can say we're not really working that well together, but kind of have a plan. He's harassing them while I'm holding the main points. But we should have something in the center. As you can see, my guys froze to death a long time ago here. I do have a sniper here. I'm wishing I could uh, take him out. He's killed 19 guys. Camouflage. I think he has Jaeger. Let's go to him really quickly. This guy went armor, so you can get an elephant. And this guy went Festung Support Doctrine. So I've started using my. Uh, one of the great things about the field guns is they do have the light um, infantry barrage. Well, sorry, light artillery barrage, which can actually take out infantry. Anyway. I backed up my MG a little bit to start suppressing these guys because I knew they were going to try to make a point. They'd already rushed last time in the blizzard. But I'm starting to cut them off here. I think, yeah, I got anti tank raids. Maybe I was trying to go there. And I'm going to get spammed by Panzer Grenadiers, to be honest. And these guys will absolutely tear up my guys. They got, uh, first of all, the first assault rifle in the world, you could call it. You know, a rifle with that can fire like an SMG with rifle rounds. And my guys are getting decimated. So I got to withdraw. They almost completely wiped out that squad, but guess what's good against infantry? Machine guns. This one has 11 kills. This one is a brand new one. I also got the light barrage, and I got the light artillery barrage that'll cost me some munitions. And I've also got this, um, I have enough for this attack. Looks like a Stormvik attack. It looks like an I-1-2. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's, the text is a little weird there. It's actually making a rush. I also got three SUs ready for any heavy armor that may be coming, like a panther. He's making a rush for this fuel. He really wants it. I should have really tried to capture that, but I'm trying to pull this back a little bit to attack the panther. Hey, what can I say? The common engineers actually captured the point. And I want to chase this panther, but I don't want to go too far because who knows what he has. I need to get this guy out of here. But I'm also bringing up my uh, anti-tank gun, but I gotta pull back because you can see how fast that Panzer pulled back because it was so damaged. I'm afraid of a. Uh, I also killed my fuel there. Also, they're doing a recon plan right now, and look at this. They knew our lines were open, so they're starting to destroy 
our fuel caches, which is a great idea. I mean, if I was able to get behind their lines and destroy this, that's absolutely great because that's 200 manpower to build one of those. One of those fuel caches. Got my SU-76 though, and these guys do not have Panzerfaust. Sorry, pan these guys don't have Panzer trucks, so they have no anti-tank support. Meanwhile, I'm turning this gun around. Is there this charging right into my uh, machine gun? I'm gonna start suppressing them, and this was just a uh, botched assault, but they did accomplish something. They did take out one of my fuel caches. I gotta pull this guy out because it's about to die. But I've done an attack here, and it just. I think it actually destroyed their sniper. Yeah, it killed their sniper there. You can see these guys have a ton of infantry. And they're just so easily combated by this this attack, this strafing run. I think I lost my MG here, but I had to keep it there to suppress them. I've got another anti-tank thing, so they can brush them like three Panthers, and I can probably take them all out. But you know, with the MGs, oh look at this bundle grenade, it just wiped out half my uh, my crew there. So they're fighting really hard for this um this point. I thought victory was going to be pretty easy after I held the north for so long and have so many forces here. But I'm telling you, those Panzer uh, Grenadiers, I'd call that a little bit of a spam considering how many they've sent at me. Um, Juice Box anyway is meanwhile making a push in the south with his T-76s. Uh, T-34-76s with their 76mm gun here. Once again, with them, when you have a lot of tanks, you can always go around the, uh, the artillery gun, the anti-tank gun, sorry. You can go around the anti-tank gun and uh, pretty much shoot it from behind. But you do have a panther here. This is abandoned, so the Germans can actually pick it up and uh, capture it. He's going to ram this. And it heavily damaged that. And it uh, destroyed the main gun. So that, that panther is pretty much dead in the water. I think he's going to try to... Oh, this is good teamwork. So we're talking on uh, Steam, of course, while we're playing this. He's going to ram that. And he's going to heavily damage that engine, so he's telling me, hey, hey, I damaged the panther there, so guess what? Armor column moving out. I have to destroy this panther. This one, meanwhile, is damaged, but it's probably going to get repaired, but look at all this imagery he's brought up. It's a little blob, but he should be focusing on these engineers, but he's definitely trying to take out that panther. This panther is kind of completely destroyed, and the SU's come in. I only really needed one, actually, but they've destroyed that panther. And this one's going to be down soon. He had so much infantry here and an anti-tank gun here that I didn't think I needed to assist him there. But some heavy artillery came in here. I think that just blew apart his whole attack because they were blobbed there. How many dead Russians there are right here? But the important thing is we took out a panther. I'm going to get a little cocky here. I'm going to try to destroy their heavy panzer corps, which will cut off their... Um, it'll cut off them making tanks. But look how much infantry they have. At this point in the game, you should be making some Panthers. And they have the fuel to make it, too. They have the fuel. Well, I guess... And now he's spamming Pioneers. How much does the Panzer cost? Let's just look that up really quickly. And I destroyed it, so I guess I can't look at it. Let's go to his, uh, his friend here. His friend doesn't have the Panzer Corps. So now there's going to be no more Panthers. And look at all this infantry. And guess what? These guys can destroy me. So I'm getting a little cocky here. You know, we have... um. All three victory points practically ours, and they called a barrage on me, and that completely destroyed me. The sector artillery here, along with the Panzerfaust, I think some of them fired, is going to destroy me, and I'm actually going to lose them. Two SU-85s. I'm going to toss this out of the room really quickly here. Yeah. So I've lost two SU-85s here, and these guys are moving in. I'm trying to build some sandbags here, but I've got a huge blob of infantry. I wish so badly that I had the munitions to call another one of these strikes on. Because I have the MGs, and I'm manning some more, these guys should get bogged down. But we can't even man the MGs fast enough. These guys are just doing complete bum rush into me. And I've got to turn my MGs now around. I'm going right for the anti-tank crews, which they are clearing out. This is like a last desperate push, and uh, my SU is just coming in charging. I've got another SU-85 here, but that's anti-tanks. So that's not going to help. They are losing whole units, but now that my MGs are both... They're in a crossfire with my two MGs. 
Uh, these guys are going to be pinned, and they should go down pretty easily now. And I still have an anti-tank gun if they have any more. But that's their plan, heavy infantry. And look, they even got behind me with a bunch of more infantry, and they're securing this victory point. So, in a blink of an eye, I've lost all my SU-85s except for one I just made. And they have all three victory points. So don't get over, don't get too cocky. Because, <laughs> you know, stuff can change. And these are actually good players, and you know. We're starting to get our uh, 400 starting to go down quite fast with three victory points. However, these guys are getting pinned by the machine guns, and I have to recapture this somehow. I'm spending all my uh, manpower right now to make some conscripts. So I'm getting some conscripts to fight these guys, but conscripts are going to get butchered by these guys. Anyway, with the um, MP44s, these guys are absolutely going to destroy my other fuel cache. It's a nice harassment idea, but it's a little late in the game. I've got enough fuel right now to make another... Uh, I can make two of these SU-76s, uh, believe it or not. Anyway, I'm calling a light artillery barrage on here. I figure I'd destroy the fire, at least. So, I mean, it's a it's a brave effort. But Juicebox is in the south securing this area with his conscripts who have got 28 kills, 17. So, yes, I've had two. But as you can see, his forces are only so much. And we're starting to secure the victory points again. But out of nowhere comes a panther, and I've just got one tank, and it's got Blitzkrieg on. Is that what they call it? What is this thing called? It had a, a special ability. Yeah, it was Blitzkrieg Tactics. So it was rushing in, and they might actually destroy my SU-85 here. It is Veteran C2 after all. I'm just turning around the AT gun because he's out of position. And I'm desperate to pull this thing back, and boom, it's destroyed. So they got a panther up here now. I've got no anti-tank support. And these guys can actually get... Do they, do they actually rebuild this? They never rebuilt their heavy panzer corpse, but this guy... I think they're kind of double-teaming me in the north a little bit. But we've got two victory points, and they're, they're still chipping down. This looks like a railway gun almost, but some artillery is shooting at us. And look, it's the deadly elephant heavy tank destroyer. This is very effective, but you have to use like an SU, keep that in mind. It's not a Panther, it's not a Panzer IV, it's not very maneuverable. And if you mark this target, get some conscripts, a couple of SUs, you can take it out. But I have all my conscripts here. What he doesn't know is that I have anti tank grenades finally. So I'm like, what the hell is my SU 76 doing trying to take on a Panther? So I'm trying to pull that back. Anyway. I'm going to do an anti-tank grenade, but guess what? I don't have munitions now. I wasted it. Wasted it on that. Anyway, Juicebox is coming up, though, with his T-76 and my SUs to come help me out and help me take out this Panther, who's now a veteran C-3. It's killed 12 infantry and 8 vehicles. It's an absolute monster. But as soon as this thing goes down, their attack in the north fails. I'm down to very little, and there's still a ton of grenadiers here. So I'm starting to get pretty nervous now because I've lost so many troops and it seems like it's just going horrible everywhere. But they got 21 points. I think around this time they said good game, but I was not letting my guard down. I need to secure this and we need to get them down to 20 points. Right now, they're going to start hitting our points more. The elephants come up here and he's like, there's an... Oh, I got a howitzer, that's right. That's what I wanted to do with this whole doctrine was a howitzer, but I never got around to it. I'm having some problems. But we're getting pushed back. But we're finally starting to... Got pushed back in the south. And the North are making some progress with the two T-76s. I should call them T-34 76s, not to get confused with a different tank. But we're starting to kill the infantry, and... He's got some engineers here to come up and take this point. I'm meanwhile making a lot more conscripts. I'm reinforcing. He's got some medical personnel that are close enough that can actually heal my men. So I don't need to waste manpower on that. And the real cool thing about the colleges is they can merge, so they can merge with a, um, a machine gun squad that's low, anti-tank gun, whatever. So he's starting to capture this, and more grenadiers are rushing in desperately because this is the second victory point. Now, the two victory points were in the south. It might be a different story, but on the north, it was the most important area. And now it's starting to see like our victory is a little more assured, but we don't know what else is out there. And guess what? Huge infantry blob coming up. Bunch of panzer grenadiers. 
I'm like, oh my gosh, how haven't we had enough of this? It really destroyed all my fuel caches. But guess what? They're actually going to encounter some more troops here. So, you know, I do have conscripts, though, but they do have the uh, air upgrade with their stuff there. The PPSHs. I thought that tank was abandoned for a second. So he's repairing his tanks, his engineers, and that victory point has been captured. Meanwhile, look at this. Heavy grenade. Look how bunched up these guys are, and he just called a uh, anti-personnel grenade, and that just pretty much blew apart those squadrons, uh, those squads, not squadrons, those are airplanes. So it wiped out a squad, and there's only two left in that squad. And we just have a ton of conscripts here, and we can afford this because we're near our base. These guys have no support. I've also got my SU shooting at them. I got an MG42 here, and these guys are just going to get absolutely wiped out. Thanks to Juice Box up here, because he definitely saved me with that T, uh, T34 and with all this infantry he brought up, because the south had fallen, clearly. The Alpha tank destroyer is kind of bumbling around. I think he threw an anti-tank grenade and just messed with its engine. By the way, having multiple units on a victory point does not capture it, so I'm going to run forward with all my troops and bring the, uh, bring the very veteran MG up and not let them try to take this flag, which is what they're rushing for right now. They don't really have a lot. They did build the heavy panzer corps, so I delayed him, and that was a lot of fuel. He did not necessarily have the build. Let's go to him really quickly on a... Uh, I don't think we, think we can actually see what a heavy panzer corps is, is worth if we go into one of his... Let's click on one of his engineers and see. That was... Wow, only 30 fuel and 160 manpower. I thought it was a lot more. Wow, anyway, his, um, his last panther comes out, and it's about good game. They have 12 points here. Even have infantry, though, we can stop him. And Snipe's like, ah, ram. So he just rammed that, and he damaged the engine heavily. So that's pushed back, and we pretty much won this. I've got guys in the center. There's his elephant. I don't really see a point. He's just kind of limping up here, and we got conscripts ready to attack him if he does. They're down to six points, and it's about good game. I thought this was one of my better replays right here. I mean, you can see how you can't get cocky, and, you know, you got you can't use the SU-85s as the Panzer for you. They're not very maneuverable, and they're definitely not good against symmetry. So you saw that when I did that rush. That rush with this um, motor half-track was more of a light um, more of a T-3476 attack than it, rather than an SU. So that's a good game. Good game to our opponents. They were both um, very good players, and we had a good time, and we uh, it's a good game to the map after, and I um, hope you enjoyed this replay. Leave comments down in the comment section below. What do you think were some of my strengths? What were the weaknesses? If you enjoyed it, any suggestions for some other gameplays? Um, if you want to see, I have a big one on the city map, so tell me if you want to see that. It's on the new city map that wasn't in the original open beta. So, I'll see you later. Quantity 2 once I've enjoyed.